So, what up everyone? I'm gonna like do some random ranting here. Hopefully to get some... Get people to t talk about something that I think is super important in, in a shooter. In every shooter I played, something that always been super important or been the keys is headshots. Believe it or not, headshots are really important when you play a shooter game, right? I think most of you guys know that. But currently in Division, I, I feel like the headshot, it's barely rewarding anymore without automatic weapon. And it's pretty hard to pull it off. Because you can see this hip fire, you can see it's pretty damn big. But I mean, you can see the hip fire is so big. So for me to hit every shot when I, like, when I aim for the head, it would have been so easier if I had like a small dot on OBS. But even if I precisely aim at the head, there's so much RNG factor because of the big hip fire, right? So to actually land every shot in the head, you need to be so close. Pretty sure everyone knows that. And if you look at this dude, for example, if I shoot for the head, of course here I'm gonna I'm gonna hit most of the shots in the head because I'm so close. But I mean, most it's not gonna be this close, right? Most of the times it's like at least this range. And if I go for the head, I'm gonna miss so many shots, right? But if I instead move it down to the body, you see I'm gonna hit way more bullets because obviously the body area is way bigger than the head, right? And even, for example, if I would hit them in the foot or in the chest or everywhere else, I hit them. And, uh, if it's not the head, I will do the same damage. So basically shooting someone in the foot and in the chest will do the exact same damage. Current meta, like it's more like you rather, so many people rather go for body shots instead of headshots. Because headshots are not rewarding. I mean, you can look here. This is a meta build with headshot damage uh, stacked 123. If we tab out here and we go back to this video where SMG build when SMG was the meta, right? 210 headshot damage. I can't remember if everything is stacked. I'm pretty sure you can probably get it a bit higher. This video is pretty old though. But let's compare what, what we are doing now compared to before. 210 headshot damage. And I'm using the center set, right? 4 piece sentry. And we can check here. But look, do you see that? If you compare that to now, back then you could do hipfire accuracy as well. And now it's this big. It's like so much smaller. So if you had good aim, if you could hit the headshots, you would get way more rewarded back here. And on top of that, on top of that small fucking reticle, you had headshot damage. You ha I have 210 headshot damage on a SMG. On a SMG now, you probably have... Like, what do you have? You don't even get to 100 or something. Probably like 80 or something. Now it's even lower because you can't even stack headshot damage on most uh, SMGs. And every patch, every patch. Like, if you look at the, the gear sets now that have headshot damage, Hunter's uh, Fate or Sentry, like, no, you can't use them because... Okay, back here, uh, Brutal was multiplicative. The Sentry headshot damage was multiplicative. Uh, when Hunter's Fate came, it was multiplicative as well. They, they changed Brutal pretty early to only be additive. Which sure, it's fine, it's still 25%, so that's, that's pretty much. And Sentry and those were multiplicative for quite some time. They did lower the values, so you did lose headshot damage. But it was still multiplicative, so you gain a lot of headshot damage. Until... Uh, was it? One, until 1 1.5, right? They took away the multiplicative with... Sentry and Hunters, which makes those sets completely garbage. They also lower the value on the Hunter's Fate from 20 to 10. Which, uh, uh, like, honestly, I wasn't too... Like, too pissed about it. Yeah, I was kind of pissed about it, I guess. Because uh, sun, uh, Sentry and Hunters was, were mainly used for snipers. You would basically get 100%... You would get 100% uh, headshot damage, right? If you've seen my one-shot build in 1.4, I had around 320 headshot damage, I think. And if you would do the same build now, you would probably have like 200 or something, 220. So you gain 100 headshot damage. But nope, they decided to take away the multiplicative, so sniper builds would be worse. 
Because back then they had a problem with shotguns, which are kind of sold my because they nerfed them to the ground. As I said before, every shooter game I played, headshots are always rewarding. Sure, in this, sure, it's still if you aid this, it's pretty rewarding. But if you aid this, you will become much easier target. So that's why it's always hip firing. And if they decided to nerf the hip fire just like a little bit. Like sure it's a pretty big nerf if you look at it, but the big the thing is the hipfire nerf is not enough, so people will still do it. And since hipfire is still the thing and the hipfire is just way bigger than before, like it just adds more RNG. Which I think is stupid. Like it should never be in a fucking shooter game that you would go for like that people feel like it's better to to go for the body instead of shooting for the head when you hip fire for example and you can't ADS against someone that hip fire if you are the same equal skill and you don't have any buffs like you are gonna get tricked every time so that's why I think either they should bring back hip, hip fire to what it used to be which in my opinion kinda doesn't make sense for a game that's supposed to be a cover based shooter but at least here it's less RNG and like aim matters way more instead of this fucking huge hip fire. So what they can do then is to either bring it back, which I would probably be the most happiest with, but honestly just fucking make hip fire trash. Like make it completely garbage so you would never really use it. Like they need to make ADS stronger than hip fire. But then I feel like, yeah, it's gonna be even less skill ceiling in the game. And I, st I still can't believe that headshot damage in a shooter game. Like, no one goes really for headshot damage on a gear set. Like, even in 1.5, or 1.4, no one went for headshot damage. Unless you played a one-shot build. Like, I don't understand. In my opinion, headshot damage should be the thing to go if you have the aim for it. But in this game, it's not. Like, you, you'd rather go out of cover damage, you'd rather go flat damage, like... It's not just... it's it's not enough rewarding, dude. It's not enough rewarding. And like, 210, that's what you used to have. We look here, and I have a lot of headshot damage for this build, what do we have? On our soul travel as well, 123. Like, that's almost 100% lower and I'm using a soul rifle which have a higher headshot base than a SMG so and it's 100% lower of course the reason they did that was because of uh, because of crit chance and crit damage and all that balancing but still and then like 1.0 you had a lot of uh, I can't remember exactly what you had in headshot damage but you had Quite a decent amount. In 1.1 you got sentry. So you had 210 headshot damage. And on top of that, if you hit it three headshots, you would get the sentry buff. Which, which was retarded, sure. But you would get benefits if you were a good aimer. 1.2, you still had a super high headshot damage. And I think, actually as well, something that people don't know. If you would crit... I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. But I think it was if you would crit... Basically, a headshot that would crit would uh, get multiplied in a other way, so it would do even more damage. Like, I can't remember exactly. But they did nerf that. 1.3 headshot damage was still high. 1.4, what did they do then? They did too much in 1.4. Headshot damage was still multiplicative. People didn't really use Sentry or Hunter's Fate. Unless you played... A sniper or shotgun build. And even with the shotgun, you didn't get too much. It was mainly used because of sniper. And I'm kinda kinda losing where I'm going with this. But fucking yeah. I don't know. I never played a shooter like headshots are used to be so rewarding in this game and it's not it's not rewarding anymore. The skill ceiling in the game is like so low. Like if you learn how to use, if you learn how to use medkits correctly with critical save, you learn how to use on the move, and ADR, uh, and get all the ADR. That's like basically enough. Then you just hit fire a bit. You you don't even aim for the head. You just try to hit either their their foot or the chest, and you will be fine. Of course, the ADS battles, like, th that's where some kind of aim. 
Like you can go for headshots, but I mean, with this fucking big ass hip fire, like how are you supposed to to get rewarded for good aim? You know, it's too much RNG. I just feel like it's so bad, dude. Like you should never, never in a shooter should it be more worth to go for body shots than headshots. So if we test here in the shooting range, you can see that a non-crit headshot is 42,689 and a body shot is 20,773. That's a little bit, just a little bit more than double the damage. And with the current hipfire we have, you can see it's quite big, so there's a lot of RNG there, so if you go for headshots, even this close, it's hard to show her because it's bigger than it is there but even with this close it's gonna be a lot of RNG that will make you miss the head and shoot outside of the head and since it's almost only the double which means if you miss one shot every time you go for headshot it's more worth to go for the body right if you hit one headshot if you can hit one headshot and you can hit two like over two body shots, two to three, all the time, then it's gonna be more worth to go for body shots. And with the movement you have in this game, that's why most people choose to go for body instead, because it's so much easier to hit. And as long as you hit, as long as you hit one more shot, it's gonna be quite the quill, and most of the times you're gonna hit maybe three body shots instead of one headshot. And I mean, in the long run, it will add up if you go for body. Which obviously is something, something wrong in my opinion. And I mean, kind of to fix this problem in this game. I mean, I think movement in this game is pretty damn crazy. And that's where the biggest prob problem lies in. Because in other games, you don't really have this movement. But then again, you usually do more than double the damage on a headshot compared to a body shot in most games. And even speaking headshot damage here, that's not the case in the game, which I definitely think need a fix. And this was with 106 headshot damage, that's quite high. You can get it up to like 123 I think, maybe a bit higher even. Uh, around 123 or 130 maybe max. And I think another problem is even though like in 1.4 the SMG reticle was pretty small, but still a lot of people if you would do a uh, SMG build, you would go crit chance. You would stack crit chance and crit damage instead of headshot damage, which I, which I think is a problem as well. And I mean, a part of the problem I think is that you get crit damage on the SMG, which, which I think is pretty stupid. I talked about it quite a, a lot of times on stream that I think it would make more sense that SMG would have the LMG talent, the damage out of cover would make more sense on SMG and LMG should get another talent. I heard people talk about that you would gain more damage if you sit in cover with the LMG, which would kind of make sense, but I would rather want to see uh, more damage when you ADS your LMG, which I still think makes sense and you would not get too restricted and that would all also take away hip fire from LMGs. So, I mean, that's something I would like to see. But then again, as I talked about people stacking crit chance, crit, crit damage instead of headshot damage, I think to take that away, if you, I mean, I would be pretty fine if you would only be able to crit on headshots. Maybe that would be too much of a nerf, especially since a lot of people play this on console. But at least reduce the damage, the crit damage, if you only get a body shot. Of course, sets like Dead Eye should just stay at as the is with 100% crit damage but if you go for body shots it, you would get like 50% less damage or something like that to kind of force people to yeah just to make headshots more rewarding that's what i want to see if we move the discussion to pvp some of my biggest problems that i think that they need to fix i think downstate hp is way too high but honestly i think we should take away revive in pvp in survival, you should not be able to to revive yourself. I think I think that makes it destroys the mode a lot, especially in PvP encounters. So many times I sniped some guy, or just had a lot medium range fight, which I really I really really like those fights. But then I tried to rush him, 
and I can't finish him off and he just get the revive which is pretty dumb in my opinion so and I think like taking away the opportunity to rest yourself would make the game more 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 of a cover based shooter because you can't rest yourself you can't get rest by a teammate so you you would have to play it more tactical and I mean if you would do that in survival obviously you have to nerf some other stuff if you would take away revive but that's something I would like to see that would make snipers stronger and like snipers are barely used anymore of especially after the nerf to headshot damage on sentry and hunters which doesn't make sense I would like them to bring back multiplicative headshot damage on that because it benefits snipers the most and they nerf the base damage on the shotgun so even if it's multiplicative you you barely like, I don't even think like it's same as it would be additive on the headshot damage on a shotgun and shotguns are not a problem anymore so I mean bring back multiplicative headshot damage for those two sets to make sniping more of a thing you should not be forced to go alpha bridge to get some provident and do that shit that i've done and i mean take that away like you, what do you do then you go high end build like you can't even one shot even though you go 9000 firearms and have everything like perfect you can't one shot uh, a meta build which you should be able to do if you invest that much into firearms and damage it's just crazy that that you can't do that like with a bolt action sniper it requires a lot of skill to to get headshots so i think that should be rewarding if you decide to play that and obviously i think seeker mines are too strong like people complain about me using alpha bridge sniper build with provident which is still in the game so i mean it's there to use it's just smart use of mechanics but then you look at a seeker mine build that still one shots a 500k toughness and you don't have to aim you just put it down Sure, it's easy to counter, it's really easy to counter, but it doesn't require any skill at all. Because you don't aim it. Sure, you can toss it smart, but that's about it. And on top of that, grenades, too much damage, I think. Most of the grenades are fine, but I mean, a grenade should not do like one, like half your HP. If you have 500k toughness, you will get bleeded, you will get staggered, I think that's enough. You should not take half, half of your damage when you have 500k toughness should be like not even more like less than a segment because bleeding and stagger should be what is good with it or they or if they want to keep it like this then they have to have a higher cooldown on grenades like you can spam them too much time to kill is pretty fast at the moment but still if you want to make this a cover based shooter you have to have a high time to kill and no revives i mean if you look at a game as rainbow six siege it's really tactical you use a lot of cover, you have to play smart. Imagine if you have the same time to kill in Division, but in Siege, then why would you take cover? You, you could just play stupid, because you have time to, re to react. Imagine that time to kill in Division. Then you would actually have to use the cover. Obviously that time to kill would be way too fast, but the faster time to kill, the more cover based it could be, because you have to play smart. I don't think that's the right way to do it though, but definitely it, it should get increased. It should definitely be faster, but not too fast, just a little bit. And I, th I think a good solution, I mean, I played a lot of H1C1 recently, and I mean, if healing would actually be over time instead of instant, imagine if all the healing would be heal over time, then you would actually be forced to play, take more covers. Med kits, instant heal. self aid heal, instant heal. Imagine if you use a medkit and it heals you over time. Then you actually have to play way more careful and you actually have to use the cover. Same with the self heal if it's heal over time instead of instant. That would provide that that would force you into cover. Or at least avoid battle. And something else in this game it's too much status effects which in my opinion makes the gameplay really boring like being on fire being bleeded and all that time all like all the time it's really boring like the skills take over the gameplay it's too little gameplay i mean skills should be there to help you but you should not depend on them i mean unless you have a skill power build but then like the thing is for example seeker mines now it's way more efficient or it's way it's a way better skill if you play it in a alpha bridge meta build instead of going full hand with the damage it works way better if you don't invest any skill power it still do a lot of damage it still put the bleed on them and staggers 
And on top of that, you have a really good build. That, like, that's when it works the best. And it's doing too much, in my opinion. Sure, in a perfect scenario, if you do a 1v1 or you actually 4v4, then sure, it's not the biggest problem. But since the only PvP we have are in Dark Zone, and I'm most of the time row because I think that's more of a challenge, you play against the whole server a lot of times, like two, three, four groups, and usually we're not even four. We usually, usually, like recently, I just mainly don't do. In having four, playing against four, five, six players with Seeker Mines, like there's too many, you, you can't shoot them all. And another big problem in the game, I think, the skill ceiling is way too low. Basically, if you learn how to use critical save on the move and booster shot, like just spam that ADR up, you will be fine. The aim doesn't really matter too much in the game, as I talked about before. If you know how to hip fire and go for the body, you will do fine. Of course, there's somewhat a little bit difference, but if you have really good aim and play against someone with really bad aim, it's, it's not as big of a uh, change, you know? That obviously needs needs to be needs to be more rewarding if you have a good aim in a shooter. Obviously, I mean, if we compare this game to H1C1, uh, Division is supposed to be a cover-based shooter. Obviously, it's not too much in PvP. You use cover, of course, a lot of times you do that, but most of the times you don't really. In H1C1, you use cover a lot because you have no instant heals. All the healing is healing over time, and most of the battles are with ADS. So you try to abuse cover and the time to kill is obviously way way faster it's really fast time to kill in that game and for example and the armor you have in H1C1 it doesn't add any mitigation for every bullet you do like for example you would take one or two more bullets but it's not like division where you get a 60% mitigation for every bullet I think the way the armor works in division is obviously not working as we known for a long time but I just thought I would make a video about this. I know a lot of people have asked me to do one about PvP. And yeah, I de dedicated a lot of this video to headshot damage because I think that is one of the one of the biggest problems. Because the skill ceiling in Division is it's not that high. You barely get rewarded for good aim anymore. And seeing that headshot damage get nerfed patch over patch kind of makes me frustrated. I really hope uh, this video actually brings up the headshot damage and other things I mentioned in the video because especially headshot damage I don't hear anyone else talking about it and I think it's such a crucial point in a shooter game and I'm not the biggest fan of making videos like this so but uh, but I really took the time to make it because I think it's important for the game especially now when we get the structured PvP I would be interested to hear what you guys think about the current PvP and headshots in this game because I, I feel like it's not rewarding enough the aim is not rewarding enough and obviously I play this game on PC so I it, it definitely works different on the console but yeah hope you guys enjoyed have a nice day thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I do daily division videos all from gameplay to guides highlights build videos and if that's not enough you can find me streaming daily on twitch.tv slash wids have a nice day